So I've been using Adobe software for a while now. I started Photoshop back in like freshman year of high school and shortly after that I learned how to do Premiere Pro and After Effects and all that sort of stuff. But a couple months back I saw some videos like why I'm leaving Adobe or why I'm switching to DaVinci Resolve. Pretty much like what this video is and I thought to myself, what's this about? Like. Why are people leaving Adobe? It seems fine. But after watching those videos, I decided, you know what? I'll give DaVinci Resolve a try because I already use it for color grading anyway, so let's just try and use it as an all-in-one thing. And since I was using Photoshop, I decided, hey, you know, I've heard some pretty good stuff about Affinity Photo and there are other pieces of software, so let's give them a try while I'm at it too. Why not? And after I did, I pretty much decided then and there that I'm just going to be done with Adobe. One of the main reasons is Adobe can get pretty expensive. It's $53 a month if you want all their apps, which means it's over $600 a year for all of their apps. And what that means is for the price of just one year's worth of Adobe apps, you could get the DaVinci Resolve Studio version and all the Affinity apps and still have over $100 left over. Not to mention, you now have that software for life. You're not renting it like Adobe. You just have it, and you have unlimited updates and everything they add to it. It's just yours now, with only a one-time fee. Back before Adobe went Creative Cloud, they used to have, like, you just bought the software and then you had it. Back, like, with the days of CS6 and before that. And I kind of miss those days, honestly. Because I don't like the feeling of renting your software, because that's what Adobe feels like right now. Is that you're just renting it to use it, and then if you stop paying, you just don't get it anymore. Also, quick little side tangent here. I noticed Adobe is starting to make a lot of their apps, like their logos, the same color. And, like, why? With the older platform, you could basically tell like which apps are which based on their color. Like I knew Premiere Pro was kind of like that purple pink, Audition was going to be green, Photoshop was blue, and like if you had them all on your desktop, it kind of looked like a cool periodic table. But now that they're all the same color, it's hard to tell what they are. And don't get me wrong, like Adobe still makes really good software, and like Premiere Pro and Photoshop are like the go-to for a lot of people, including me for a while. But because of the issues with Premiere Pro and some of the other software, and just the cost, you know, throwing hundreds and hundreds of dollars at this, you know, yearly, it gets a lot. And so I decided maybe other people are right, maybe it is time to switch. In just one piece of software in DaVinci Resolve, it basically replaces three Adobe apps. In DaVinci Resolve, you have the Edit tab, which basically replaces Premiere Pro. You have Fusion, which replaces After Effects. And you have Fairlight, which replaces Audition. Like, you just have all of those in one software, and you don't have to worry about, like, the smart links and that sort of stuff that Adobe uses, because that's not always the most reliable thing to use. But since it's all in just one software with DaVinci Resolve, it's just super easy to use and there are no issues. It just works. But now, like I said, I've been going strong with DaVinci Resolve for almost a year and I'm just loving it. And because everything I need is just in this one app, it's so nice to just swap between like, oh, I need to edit the audio, so we'll pop into Fairlight for a second and then pop back. It's not like I have to wait for an app to open, do something quick, and then go back. And like I said, you can get DaVinci Resolve completely for free on their website. But they also have their studio version of the app, which comes with some extra features like collaboration and being able to work in resolutions beyond 4K. But for me, the free version is just plenty and it gets me by. It's also worth mentioning that if you get any of the Blackmagic Designs hardware, like their Pocket Cinema Camera 4K or any of that other stuff, they just give you their studio version of DaVinci Resolve. Like you just have it because you bought their hardware, which is great. But from now on, I think I'm just going to stick with DaVinci Resolve. Like, I'm just going to be doing all this YouTube stuff, everything else in DaVinci Resolve. Also, like I said earlier, I'm switching to Affinity Photo for all my photo edits. And I can honestly say that I love Affinity Photo and like all their other software too. Because I got all the Affinity apps during quarantine when they were all half off. And I've simply just been loving them. Because Affinity Photo does everything I need it to that Photoshop did with a better UI in my opinion. Now if you're like me and you're also thinking about breaking your chains with Adobe, here's a quick list of some alternative apps you can use instead of Adobe's that are either free or just like a one-time payment. Starting out with the one I'm sure most of you use, Photoshop. So instead of Photoshop, I definitely recommend Affinity Photo. It's like honestly great. It does everything I need it to as a photographer and 
it's only like 50 bucks. But if you want a free alternative, GIMP is a pretty great piece of software and was actually the first thing I started doing when I first started taking photos before I got into Photoshop and it works great. For Lightroom, Affinity Photo does have a develop tab, which works pretty similar to Lightroom. But otherwise, if you want some other ones that are actually really close to it, Luminar, I hope I'm saying that right, is a great alternative. Otherwise, Darktable is also another great alternative. For Illustrator, Affinity Designer is really close to Illustrator, and that one's $50. Otherwise, if you want a free version, Inkscape is another really great one. If you use InDesign, uh, Affinity Publisher seems to be pretty great. I never really used InDesign, so I can't really say for sure, but I've been using Affinity Publisher and it does the job for me. For Premiere Pro, obviously DaVinci Resolve is kind of like the best option out there, in my opinion. Like just download it, get it, try it, do it. For After Effects, DaVinci Resolve has their Fusion tab, which unlike After Effects, Fusion is actually a node-based program, whereas After Effects is a layer-based which can kind of be hard to wrap your head around, especially if you've been using After Effects for a while. But after a while, you'll kind of get the hang of it. It took me about a month to actually get the hang of, but once I did, it works fine. Otherwise, if you did want like a layer-based solution, HitFilm has a free and a paid version of their software. And as far as I can tell, I've only used it a couple times, but it seems to work pretty good. Otherwise, if you need something for like 3D or CGI, you can pick up Blender, which is completely free and is just awesome. For Adobe Audition, DaVinci Resolve has their Fairlight tab. Like I said, DaVinci is kind of like an all-in-one, which is great. Otherwise, if you just need another piece of software just for like recording audio and stuff, Audacity is a great alternative and is completely free. But that kind of wraps up the list of like their most popular ones I wanted to cover. But everything I mentioned on this list is either free or at least has a trial for you to actually try out the software before you buy it. So if you even have the slightest bit like temptation to break away from Adobe, at least give these programs a try. But that pretty much covers like why I broke away from Adobe. Because now I'm not tied down with any expensive monthly fees and I'm happy with the software that I have. I don't feel like I'm missing anything and everything just kind of does the job the way I need it to. And I'm just happy with my choice and I'm really glad I made the switch to DaVinci and Affinity. Just because something is popular doesn't mean it's the best of the best. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. But I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.